it's another day. <laughs> It's another rainy day in Trinidad and Tobago and today we want to do something nice and warm probably something fried. What do you think Sid? Hmm, probably some saltfish acra. Saltfish acras? Yeah. And we're gonna need some flour and saltfish and corn and Seasonings. Some of the things that we will be making to accompany our saltfish acras are coconut chutney, rose pepper choker, tambran sauce, also known as sweet sauce. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, cool. Let me go. Let me go. Look at the skies. Look at how dark the sky is. It's surely gonna rain. Yep. It's real dark. Okay. You having fun? Yeah. Okay. Look at this. What? Oh. <laughs> Do that again? Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> So even though it's cold and wet and really on the outside, inside my kitchen is going to be very warm and very hot because I'll be making a few things to go alongside my acras. One of the sides is a roast pepper choker. Now this can be called Mortani Opagar. Many of you would have heard of it. It's basically roasted hot pepper, roasted vegetables blended together or pounded together into a nice chunky paste flavored with things like shadow benny. You can also put pimento peppers in there, tomatoes. If you choose, you can add some roasted okra, some roasted melangen. You can roast a whole set of things and put inside it, basically. Once you have your pepper and your garlic and your shadow benny, anything else will just be a bonus in the dish. I'd like to also do a coconut chutney as well as a tamarind sauce. Now, tamarind is not in season right now, so it's very scarce to get. I, however, have a hack. Tamarind ball, I'll show you what I do with these. Let me go. Always start with washing everything properly. You do not know where these things might have been. So it's always a good idea to wash. There's no need to wash the garlic. The skin is going to get nice and roasted. It's going to be able to peel right off. My choice, tomatoes, pimentos, hot pepper, garlic, shadow benny. You can of going to let this cool off a bit and put everything into my mini chopper 
with some salt, lemon juice, and oil. And if your sinus is not acting up at this point, you're doing it wrong. You're supposed to be sneezing, coughing, wheezing, all kind of thing. And? That's right. I'm not going to take off too much of the char from on the peppers. Just strain everything inside it. Okay, so that's why you didn't char them completely. Yeah. You want hot pepper? Not in my hand. <laughs> you little. Please be careful after handling all of these things when you are in the bathroom. And then to take a bath or a shower, just be mindful that your hands would have been touching pepper. This is a plastic bowl that Mama gave us. It's one of our favorite bowls. Mommy, another hint. Christmas present. Mm. to this just gonna add a little oil and the juice of one lime we need a taste tester well I was going to eat the a piece of bread <laughs> no it is Rose pepper to go with anything. Roti, chitri, boiled on, pilau, macaroni and cheese. Basically anything. All this is missing is food. All this is missing right now. This this could last in the fridge. For a very long time, I do not know exactly how long because it tends to finish quite quickly in a matter of a few days. You remember a long time when you buy a tamarind bowl? Uh -huh. That one tamarind bowl used to be so concentrated that you could actually make about four of these tamarind bowls. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was really just tamarind and barely barely any sugar yeah now the tamarind bowl is actually mash up in your hand yeah because it's more sugar than tamarind and no seeds no seeds <laughs> i took a taste test and i just added a little sugar salt i'm going to be adding a little bit of roasted jira powder also a teaspoon as well as a teaspoon of anchar masala and let it all cook together that is some good looking tamarind sauce mm -hmm. on point Well, I'm gonna get a coconut for you. What are we gonna do with that coconut? We're gonna make some roast chutney, man. Yeah, man. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we coconut pile. And the famous spot. <laughs> yeah. You feel you need to sharpen that cutlass? A sharpen it. Oh. Go you see how sharp it is? Too chop, too chop, and that is a Bread. We in luck, brother man. Thank you. Yeah. Santa's workshop. <laughs> we also bust coconuts. <laughs> yeah.
This is the part where you have to be very, very careful because coconuts contain a high percentage of natural fats and oils. So obviously when they come into contact with fire, they tend to flare up. You see how nice and smoky and charred this is? We want all the pieces to look like this. Lovely, so this is the situation that I am looking for. It's very hot right now. Please do not risk trying to handle it with your bare fingers. Just let it cool down. I'm gonna just scrape up the extra bits of char, grate them up and add some garlic, shadowbenny and a hot pepper, salt to taste. So I have a very small grater. This is a box grater and this is the side I'm going to grate the coconut on. Shad Benny and garlic. I can't even begin to tell you all how delicious this smells. I should have bought it to cook it You want to have more when you're ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct? Boss. Chana. We are going to pick this. Let me show you. This is... You go through one by one and pick out anything that is not a chana. Benny, celery, side, we have onion, garlic, pimento, and some thyme spray. So we add some ground roasted jeera as well as some anchar masala. So we are just going to leave this covered and simmering till it's nice and soft and tender. a delicacy. You can tweak the recipe to whatever fits your taste and whatever you like to put in it. Some people use fish, some people use shrimp. Just stick into salt fish today. In this bowl, I have two and a half cups of sifted all-purpose flour, half a pack of yeast, half a pack of all-purpose seasoning, half a pack of crab flavoring, one teaspoon of baking soda, two tablespoons of sugar, and you might think sugar. It may sound a bit counterintuitive, but your taste buds will enjoy it, trust me. Mix all your dry ingredients together, and you're going to add enough water to bring it to sort of like a pulori consistency. I'll show you how that goes. And when you have reached that consistency, you can add in everything else. One cup of corn, some pimento, onions, garlic, carrots. This is a medley of green seasonings. And one and a half cups of salt fish because when I eat an acra, yeah, I really want to taste the salt fish. exactly the consistency I am looking for. Now is where you add everything else. This is perfect. Now remember there's yeast in here. 
So we're gonna need to cover this and let it proof for about an hour. It's been one hour and my dough has risen to double its size. Lovely, you see? You seen those little bubbles? Yeah, that's what we want. I'm going to be using these two spoons to scoop out the acra. Place them in the oil, let them cook properly, and put them inside my basin that I have lined with a nice sappy, a little kitchen towel technique is everything and you might get the first few wrong but that's okay just keep at it you'll perfect it so we'll give these a little flip see what's going on all right I think they could use a little more color you want to give them two to three minutes on each side on medium heat or on So we have our acras, chana, time to dress it, tamarind, sweet sauce. This goes over everything. Clean spoon for the coconut chutney. And there you have it our acras, chana, tamarind sauce, coconut chutney, and roast pepper. Now, the way how it plate out here? Yeah. I ain't like to tell you the first thing I'm going to attack yeah. is the coconut chutney and the chana. Alright. You eat all the I feel like I eat two places at the same time. Why you say that? I feel like if I dab it with the chana and this coconut chutney, yeah. carry me straight to eat carcass. I'm telling you. Okay, okay, go ahead. So here's the sack. Eating these acras, do you feel like a superhero? What do you mean? Acra man. Give a little bit of everything away. That's our experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ellis, yeah. this is our winner as always. Yeah, Mama Guy. No. Serious? Serious talk. Of course! Leave here. Mama Me. Yeah, Chris tastes like love. Like love? Yeah. Thank you, baby. Thank you, Mommy. Thanks for watching. Be happy, be safe.